After my last tutorial on Olama and WebUI, which I did on my 64 gigabyte MacBook Pro, some of you are wondering if this is even gonna run on an M1 MacBook Air. Well, we're gonna do that and I'm gonna try it on the M2 base model MacBook Air and we're gonna go back in time a little bit for this one. I gotta keep this one plugged. Shit. I gotta keep this one plugged in. This is a 2017 Core i5 MacBook Air. Let's plug it back in. That one is struggling a bit, but let's start with the M1. I downloaded Olama for Mac OS. Olama run Llama 3. I believe that this has to first get that 4.7 gigabyte file downloaded, which is the Llama 3 model. And if you wanna learn about all this and what models to pull and get and where to get them, I'll link a video down below where I show you how to do all that. Now that 4.7 gigabyte model size is important, especially on these machines with lower amount of RAM. Llama 3 comes in different versions. If you go back to the Olama page where Llama 3 is hosted and you go to models, you can find Llama 3 there and it makes two versions available, the 8 billion parameter one and the 70 billion parameter one. Yeah, guess which one is gonna download by default? The 8 billion one. If we select 70B, this one is 40 gigabytes. Now this is quantized and the quantization it uses is Q4 underscore zero, which is about four times smaller than the original 70 billion parameter model. What's all this quantization, blah, blah, blah. Well, these LLMs, these models are huge. They have so much data in them and they need to be always available. If you're running an unquantized model, the 70 billion parameter one, you're gonna need probably close to 140 gigabytes of RAM on your machine, which you can get on certain modern Macs, like the Mac Studio, maybe the next uh, MacBook Pro, but not this, this is 16. So we need to make sure that whatever model we run is gonna fit inside the 16 gigabytes here, or if we quantize the model, which means we just chop it up and make it smaller, that should fit within 16 gigabytes or eight gigabytes or however big your RAM is on your machine. This one is quantized by four times, so the original is probably 13 gigabyte size for the 8 billion parameter model. So we could theoretically run the original 8 billion parameter model on a 16 gigabyte MacBook Air, but we wouldn't be able to on the 8 gigabyte MacBook Air. But the quantized version of it, which is the one that's automatically downloaded by Olama, it's four times smaller. So yeah, that'll fit on both of them. Hey, it finished and now it's running. So we can use it through the terminal like this. Is 8 gigabytes enough in 2024? The eternal question, memory intensive applications like AI, machine learning, and multimedia become prevalent in high demand for higher efficient capacity, RAM grows, blah, blah, blah. Let me skip over all this. This is just writing a lot of stuff, but it's going pretty fast. And that's the thing about these quantized models. The smaller the model, the faster it's gonna be. The 70 billion parameter model is gonna be much slower than the 8 billion parameter model. But if you further quantize those, they're gonna be even faster, each one of them. For general computing and mainstream uses, eight gigabytes of RAM might still be sufficient in 2024. But for memory intensive, Intensive applications, 16 to 32, could provide better performance and multitasking capabilities. These things are all true. Good job, Llama 3. Now, Llama 2 comes in a 13 billion parameter mode too. That's this one right here. Now, if we say, oh, Llama run Llama 2, how does it know which one is gonna get? Well, you need to specify that. And you do that right here by saying, oh, Llama run Llama 2 colon 13B. While it's downloading, let's see how we do on this M2 MacBook Air with the original model. Is eight gigabytes of RAM enough in 2024? It's gonna think about it. But while it's doing that, oh, 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 oh no. Oh, I think we have a problem, folks. So my mouse suddenly just stopped moving and now it's moving again, but I, I just click on activity monitor and it's not opening up. Okay, now it's opening up, good. Ooh, that's, that's a problem. The usability is just not there. Memory pressure is in the orange, which means we're, we're needing a lot of memory. Now, the way this works is when you do a query, a prompt, that model gets sucked into the memory and it stays there uh, working away at your prompt and giving you an answer. And that's when memory pressure goes up and memory used goes up. And when it's done, it goes and it just releases the model and now memory is available and now I'm free to use my computer. But uh, it didn't quite go away because macOS knows that it still might be needed. Cache files is 4.5 gigabytes. Compressed is also being used. That's half a gigabyte. And swap. We're at 900 megabytes swap. Let's issue a query and see how all those numbers change. 
I'm gonna just ask the same question. And here we go. Memory pressure goes up, memory used is up 7.48, almost the same amount as the actual model for memory use, 7.46 gigabytes swap used is about the same. So this is just at the edge of what this machine can do. And it's struggling. It's struggling when the answer is being generated. Also, you can check out GPU history to see what's happening with the GPU. The RAM on Apple Silicon machines is shared between the CPU and the GPU, but the GPU is much faster at doing machine learning inference. That's what this is. Inference is when you are actually using the trained model and generating text or images or whatever. So it's good to use a GPU for that. And you can see in our GPU history that during that time that it was generating, the GPU was being used. So the GPU was pulling stuff out of memory, processing it, putting it back and then putting it onto the screen. And when it was done, there is that little blue mark right there. And that correlates to when we were having high memory pressure. Now we know that the 13 billion parameter model is going to be too big to fit in here on this 8 gigabyte machine. But let's do it anyway. Olama run llama 2 colon 13b. It's 7.4 gigabytes. This is the quantized version. It might, it might run, but where is all that model going to be kept? Is it going to be kept in memory? Is it going to push everything else out and just use the model? It's a tough question to answer. We're going to see right now. It's got to download. Back on the M1, we've got the 13 billion parameter model running now. Let's take a look at activity monitor now. Is 8 gigabytes enough in 2024? Probably sick of that question. The memory is up to 14 gigabytes and it's going much, much slower than the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model, noticeably slower. So why would anybody use the slower models? Well, the bigger models are supposed to give you better answers because they're trained on more data. So the quality is going to be higher. I didn't notice any usability issues while it was running, though. Let me try that again. And nothing as far as uh, usability. Not, I'm not doing a real world test where I'm running all sorts of software at the same time as doing this, because if you're doing something like this with a large model, you're probably not going to end up using much of the other pieces of the machine. If you're going to be doing something like that, get 32 or 64 or 128 gigabytes of RAM on your machine or run a smaller model. So we're at 14 gigs, 100 megabytes of swap. That's barely anything. We're not exceeding this machine's capabilities. And this machine, it's an M1 MacBook Air with 16 gigs of RAM is perfectly capable of running this 13 billion parameter model. Ready for the M2? Let's see. Is 8 gigabytes of RAM enough in 2024? Get that model in RAM. <laughs> Look at that memory pressure going up, going up. And it came down. It's going up again. It's going up again. Oh, and it came down. Oh. Uh, we got the word in printed. The machine is still usable. Oh no, it's not. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's not good. I can't really drag these windows around too much. It's hitting a wall and then it's like bouncing off of that wall. That memory pressure chart is going crazy. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And we're not getting really much of a response here. So this 13 billion parameter model is pretty much unusable. Unless you want to wait a few hours for the answer, you can do that. Not a pleasant experience. The swap used is only a gigabyte, so not too bad, but this machine is not happy. It knows it can't fit the whole model in there, so it's emptying the memory and trying again and again and again. I'm just amazed that we're getting anything out of this. Okay. Here we go. Now this has a different operating system altogether. Blast from the past, Monterey. And this machine is just sitting here and already it's at 96 degree, 94, 96 degrees Celsius. And the fan is spinning at 1500 RPM. That's right, you heard me correctly. This is a MacBook Air with a fan in it because they used to have those. We're gonna start up Chrome. <laughs> we'll, we'll start up Chrome. Olama is supposed to be able to run on anything greater than Big Sur. So this theoretically should work. Just can't imagine how much it'll struggle. Now, Olama itself is not a huge program and it's not super intensive. It just basically orchestrates your models. This is not what's going to be the tough part for this machine. Let's do Run Llama 3. It's downloading it. And this Mac has 8 gigabytes of RAM in it, even though it's from 2017. This is slow RAM, by the way, 1600 megahertz DDR3. When it comes to machine learning and AI applications, like this, RAM is very important. The more you have and the faster RAM, the better. RAM bandwidth matters a lot also. You might have heard people talking about how they use their M3 Max because the M3 Max has a lot of RAM bandwidth, the highest end model. And the M2 Ultra has up to 800 gigabytes of RAM bandwidth, which is a lot. I made a video describing all this and testing it out. I'll link to it either up here or down below somewhere. It says success. And right now it says 2.4 gigabytes used. Let's create a message. Since this is an older machine, I'm gonna say is four gigabytes of RAM enough in 2017. 
Why not? Because I think in 2024, you can safely say that four gigabytes of RAM is not enough. It's pretty slow, but it's much faster than the 13 billion parameter model on the M2. And let's take a look at this memory. It's not using that much memory. 2.37 gigabytes. It's got 5.6 gigabytes in cache, but I'm really surprised that it's not sucking up all that, the whole model into memory. What's going on? If you know the answer to that, put it in the comments. I'm sure everybody would like to know. Now, my theory is that memory management was very different in Monterey than it is now in Sonoma. Again, just a theory. And perhaps Monterey is reserving some of that memory for operating system use. That's one idea. Another idea is we have unified memory over there, which is slightly differently implemented because of sharing memory between the GPU and the CPU. And here we've got the old school DDR3. So to sum up, Olama with a quantized 7 billion or 8 billion parameter models will run fine on an 8 gigabyte machine, even going all the way back to 2017 MacBook Air, but not without this or that fan. You wanna run something bigger? More RAM. If you wanna check out my RAM bandwidth video, watch it right over here. And if you wanna see my Olama tutorial, watch it over here. <laughs> I'll see you next time.